Welcome back. Hi. Welcome back to In Stars and Time. I'm Marini. I'm Ira. And uh, Scotty says this is the loop. He's sure of it. Uh, this is it. This is it, you guys. This is the loop. This is the last <laughs> time we play this game. <laughs> yeah. This is the I one where I won't go back on my own and, <laughs> and fuck around and <laughs> waste so much time. <laughs> you're gonna, pop, you're gonna pop the question. <laughs> Something's going to happen. Everything's ha something has happened each loop. Isabel, will you marry? I mean, really. I mean, look at all this trauma that you've inflicted upon yourself. All these dying. Mhm. Mm I don't know if you uh. Before and after stargazing and right before the sleepover, have you written down what each save is? That no. would have been the responsible thing to do. No. Oh, I remember. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. I definitely know what's going on. So now what are we going to do? We're going to go up and and talk to Loop. To talk to Loop. Uh, talk to uh, Mirabelle. <laughs> <laughs> Mirabelle, have you thought about doing a sleepover? Blah, 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 blah. I was actually thinking about it. What do you think? Absolutely, I'll go You're tell right. everyone. You're right, we don't have a moment to lose, but wait, do you know where everyone- I'll talk to you later, Mira. Okay. Tell Mira about the character method so she can learn that one skill. Wait, how do you know about- I'm weak. Okay. Now we'll learn the skill of adorable movie shell, look at you, watch her go. Alright. <laughs> what? <laughs> Isa. Sif, woke up on the wrong side of the bed? I get it. Anyway, I was just looking at the favor tree. Isn't this tree cool? Yeah, it is. Glad you agree. Stop here. No, you will always make the chip. <laughs> Let's keep, keep some sort of routine to stay sane. And if it's always making this joke, now, uh, if, if, no, uh, and if always making this joke is how, so be it. I love it. Uh huh. Tremendous tree. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We both will laugh. Wait for him to touch you. Do it. Can't stop. It's above your shoulder. Is it fun to go back here? You keep torturing yourself. <laughs> that yeah. was funny. Yeah. I'm gonna go see so you can do your thing <laughs> with the tree. Who are you gonna give the flower to? This loop. Know. See you at I the think clock I, tower. Uh, let me see if I can give it to Loop. Oh yeah. Because I think I think Loop and Bonnie are the only people I haven't given the flower to. Did you give one to Odile one time? Yeah, I did. She was like, eh. You can't skip through this. Nope. Sifrin, overcome with nihilism, just starts slaughtering everyone with a completely blank face. No, <laughs> Scotty. Is it? What? What was that game? Like eleven minutes or something? Fucking Willem Dafoe was one of the voices, and uh, Daisy Ray did twelve minutes. Zabba, Zabba, twelve minutes. Okay, yeah. I'm never gonna watch Your that movie. Yeah. It's, it's not a movie, it's a game. Uh, what is it? Daisy Ridley Scott? I think her name is just Ridley. Sans? <laughs> Me Gunner? Uh, yeah, it's really bad. Like, the intrigue on the movie is pretty great, but. Oh, I said movie again. <laughs> you can watch this game. But basically, it's also a time loop game, and like, the guy's like not very happy that he's in the time loop. But then, like, if you keep forcing him to do like shitty, like, heartless things over and over, he's just gonna become cold to it. Oh. Yeah, it's got the Willa Dafoe. Hey, Stardust. How can I help you in this wonderful new loop? Uh, let's talk about something. Sure. What do you want to talk about? Wait, actually, my turn to ask a question. You know, don't you? What your fighter is trying so hard to say to you? You flinch. Uh, I think you do. <laughs> Should I play? Hey, that? Al! <laughs> Hi, Al! William Defoe. Hey, Duncan! Yeah, it's William Defoe. No, I thought it was Willem. <laughs> William Defoe. I Duncan. thought his name was Willem. No, it's, it's like, Willie. It's a the, weird... The, the foe. It's a weird name. Mm -hmm. 
clear the phone. <laughs> you're uh, you're glitching a little bit. We should pity more then. Oh no. Ah. All right, say yeah. something. Hello. Hi, I can hear you. Melanie. Yes, can you hear me? Hi, Melanie. It's can me, you hear Melanie. me? I'm not Melanie, but it's I can hear you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now go. Listen, you're going to just have to move back closer because this is not working. <laughs> I need Hello? you to get I need you to get Cox back again. Melanie? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hello. I'm back. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hello? Yes. Uh, okay. Do your testing uh, thing. Te te yeah, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing three, two, one. Testing three, two, one. Okay, uh, I need to exit and then come back because it is not... There was a huge lag between us. <laughs> okay, go for it. Ugh. Testing one, two, three. Testing three, what, well, that one, two, three. <laughs> two, one. Three, two, one. I didn't hear testing. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing three, two, one. Testing three, two, one. Okay, we got it. Okay. Let me let me check the stream. Can we get a direct line between us? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, we got like a parsec or something. Or like, maybe you just like moved to North Carolina. I don't know. <laughs> I just moved. <laughs> yeah. What do you want from me? I don't know. For you not to be so far away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who we should pity more then. The one who won't be able to spit it out, almost like it's forbidden by time itself. Or the one waiting endlessly for it. Such a terrible tragedy, isn't it? Um Weird. Uh what should I do next? What part did you go to, Potato? I just need help in general. What? Need help with your family members again? You know what to do. Just help them all in the same loop and go through the house with them. You know it won't change anything. It really won't. So, do I really need to help them again? Hmm. Do you want to help them again? Yes, of course. Well, you can help them again if you want, but you don't really need to. They'll just do fine without you, you know. Who do you think you are? Their savior? Silly. If you do help them, you can just zone out and fast forward to it if you get bored. And you'll still get a nice skill for the, from, the, from that of it. I pity them both. I wonder if they think you're doing this out of obligation. Or worse, just because it makes your life easier. Uh, oh, that's right. Monticello is where Thomas Jefferson was from. Um, find out more about the loops. You want a refresher? No. Sure, you know. I don't know. If there's anything you can do to find out more about the loops right now. But you do have other things to do, don't you? Still have to find out more about the king, after all. You can go back to your loop quest after you're done with this, don't you think? The king is from your country, the one no one can remember. Something happened to this country to make it disappear even in people's minds. And he wants to freeze Vogard in time to make sure that, in a twisted way, it'd never be forgotten. What a blinding idiot. Loop. I have to talk to him one last time. The king is trying to remember our country, trying to keep Vogard from meeting the same fate. He's deluded. He can't bring it back, but, but... But you have to try. Just do whatever you want, Stardust. Have fun. Okay. Well. So, what if... What if... 
the reason why, like, like your people were actually all just time wizards. Um, like, what if that's the whole, like, thing? Like, your country's name is Time Wizard or something. Yeah. Like, I, I know you're saying Time Wizard specifically to piss me off, but I do understand the notion you're trying to get at. Yeah. Like, what... Maybe there was, like, some kind of, like... Nutella toast. Was, like, you know, you know, like, in Chrono Trigger, the, the Kingdom of Zeal? Mm-hmm. How, like, they were, like, magical and powerful and cool. Yeah. And, and super... And, and they're, like, the shit. Yeah. But also, like... They're kind of shitty. Yeah. And so, and so, we literally brought them down to, to, to say, "Hey, fuck you." Yeah. Like, what if what if Zeal happened to this country? Uh, except everyone forgot about Zeal completely. I mean, they kind of did, but not like in a brain-ending way. Yeah, I think the only person who remembers it is Magus. But like, yeah. You know, it'd be funny if they named the country Zeal. In this game. <laughs> I would fucking shit myself. <laughs> Why would it take so many syllables to say? I wonder if it's going to be a reference to something, because I feel like if it's a reference to something, we'll all giggle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this, this game has made a few references. I wonder if that Pachu from earlier was a Homestuck reference. Oh, is that something that you guys say in Homestuck? Yes, yeah, one of my, my the character I play. Which one? Uh, she, Terezi? She says Terezi, yeah, she says it a lot. She goes like Pachoo <laughs> <laughs> And it was actually like a code that she had to give to John at one point. Yeah. Now which one's John? The main boy? The nerd looking one? The one with the Ghostbuster slime dude on her shirt? I thought John was a human. He is a human. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. We never see him. I guess he's the one who's reading the the exposition. So for the longest time, I thought Czech was reading John and Carcat. Okay, no. Yeah. And I was just like, this guy never stops. <laughs> no. That's, uh, nope. <laughs> like, he needs to breathe. <laughs> not zoning out for this? Um, I might zone out, like, manually. Mm -hmm. But she won't zone out on Isabeau. <laughs> I'll zone out a little on Isabeau. You love him so much. I love him so much, Ellie. Even after all this time? All he wants to do is spend time with you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm really embarrassed that I misspelled Bogard. Nutella's so good. Heck yeah. Wait, I want a little snack. Sweet snack. Cinnamon toast or Nutella toast. Why can't you combine them both? That's what he did. 10% butter with some... Mm. I, I made some cookies. Mm -hmm. uh, I, made, I made some cookies mm -hmm. and uh, I brown... We had this butter that Kay got. It was like a, a honey butter. Oh. There's like so many honey things in the state. The beehive state. You know? Is it really the beehive you know, state? Yeah, it's called the beehive. Melanie, the signs, every the road signs, uh -huh. they have beehives on them. Is that why your bathroom is like beehive-y? Yeah, it was so easy for us to find hexagons and shit. <laughs> you know, and like so many bee-related stuff. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And like, it makes me so happy. And I was so pissed at Czech for not having told me this in the first place. 
Um, but yeah, so I browned the, the honey butter, oh. and it turns out that some of the honey uh, actually crystallized as I was uh -huh. browning the butter. Yeah? So there's like little crystally, sugary chunks of honey. Uh. And it's really, it, it ended up being way better than I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I, I really liked it. Uh, mm. I also added some pecans just because. Ugh. Hold my Book of Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was working at the um, at the vet clinic, one of our doctors was from uh, Rwanda, and mm. he was like, he is he is a master surgeon. And um, one time something happened, and uh, I was like, yeah, one of these doctors was, was stumped, and, and Dr. B was like, hold my beer. And Dr. B looked at me, and he goes, what? Hold my beer? And then we had to explain, like, you're such a boss, dude. And he actually, like, reported me to the manager. Not that time, but, like, he reported me to the manager because I called him dude. And his impression oh of the word dude is that it's very, like, ir like disrespectful. Oh. And, I, and I was like, Dr. B, I respect you so much. I'm so sorry. I say, I call everybody dude. Is, like, I call girls this dude. this Japan? No, this was here when I was a, a vet tech. <laughs> And I was just like, like a Japanese I was like, I, I call everyone dude. Like, like I call everyone girl. I don't care if you're like, like a man or a gender, I will call you girl. Like, I think, I think the main I can't reason you refer to him by his first name. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I don't know. I think the whole idea that like girl is an insult is something that I really want to take out of the English lexicon because girl is awesome. Girl is awesome. Hey dude, girl, exactly. Like I use them kind of interchangeably. So I've started adding gender neutral when I say like, hey girl, gender neutral. Cause like, I don't want somebody to think that I'm like, no, he really did think it was like, he thought it was rude. I think he did think it was an insult, though. Oh, you're giving me a flower? Why? Why not? Okay. Bonnie hesitantly takes the flower and stares at it intently. Did it make them happy? Help me. I don't want your help. I don't want your help with anything. I think I might zone out for this one. Alright. I love the art in this game so much. I do too. It it's so really happy. cute. Take a bite of this cookie really quick. Before I got on, I was really wanting something sweet or yeah. like some kind of a snack. And so <laughs> at the wedding, there was a bunch of like leftover food. <laughs> and we ended up with like this box of honey bunches of oats. And like, I've never been a cereal person, but I have been devouring cereal this week. <laughs> I had cereal for breakfast the other day. It was awesome. And it was free. Ooh. Yeah, snack time. Yeah, Bonnie would be so proud of us. No, never. That that option will stay bright 
as a goddamn star. <laughs> Oh my god, Melanie, I love cookies. Yeah. You're just the fucking cookie monster up in this piece. good in some things, but not in others. Hot breakfast. I am very good at hot, like, cooking eggs, and today's the first time I've been able to eat eggs in months. So that was oh really God. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Which is really... Aligners, or? Well, so the thing is, is like when I first get my aligners... Um, honey mustard's delicious, um, but, like, and I did honey in smoothies is really good, but, like, some people put honey in coffee, and I'm like, uh-uh, I fucking love maple syrup, and it's gotta be the real thing, I don't like that fake shit. But anyway, the whole thing with aligners is like the first day is kind of excruciating. Um, and so like every time you take them in or out, it's just like you're pulling your teeth out of your head. That's what it feels like. It's so painful. Um, so like this morning, I was really glad that I could eat eggs because eggs help you feel full longer. No, caro syrup. Caro syrup is what you feed to like kittens to keep them alive when they're first born. <laughs> I feel like the fact that you have to like go through and do all these battles is like a little bit maddening. And I think well, it's I the whole to. like making you feel it, you know? Are yeah. you equipped with the thing that gives everybody double EXP? Uh... Luda Narrative? What's that? Um, there's a, there's a thing called Luda Narrative. I don't know what it means on its own, but I know about the term Luda Narrative Dissonance. Mm -hmm. Which is like, so say your your character in GTA, like you you you're want you want to play like an asshole, and you're like, I want to go around punching people, uh -huh. and like like running people over with my car, and then a cutscene happens, and it's like, hey, we got this job for you, we need you to kill this guy, and your character is like, I never kill people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's ludo narrative dissonance. <laughs> because you you definitely do kill people. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like you, you controlling the character. You've made him kill people a bajillion times. There's one game, uh, where um, they actually avoid that. Uh huh. Um, it's uh in Yakuza. Uh huh. Um, the the main character Kiryu, he, he can't just run around punching people. Yeah. He can only do it when he gets in battle. So, and he also never wants to hit women, ever. I think there was only one time he technically did, and he, he, he regretted it. Yeah. I love Yakuza. Like, 
When when Shin plays Yakuza, I want to be like watching him because I enjoy it a lot. And also the entire time I'm just like, and he he actually started playing it in Japanese instead of like doing the dub because and then I would just like be like, oh by the way, do you know what this is? <laughs> He'd ask me like, so what does this mean? And I just like explain it to him. But also like the entire time that we're playing, uh, that he was playing the um the one where you're like a samurai like in the samurai mm -hmm. times i'm basically yeah, we, you, like you showed me clips of that <laughs> dude this guy this guy it, you know how like men like to see women wearing certain things yeah for me it's fucking hakama put a dude yeah. in a hakama <laughs> i will like that is like the sexiest lingerie it's like like you talk about like gray sweatpants being slutty, no, not it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Put on a fucking hakama, that's it. But it's also like, I guess people think that everyone looks good in a tux, and people yeah. get married in hakama, so. Wow. Yeah, they get married in kimono and hakama. If you like, look at traditional Japanese wedding photos. Yeah. Like they'll usually like change change dresses a couple of times. White crew socks with worn out elastic. Is that is that your kink, Scotty? <laughs> sounds like what a bear would wear. <laughs> <laughs> that and um, cargo shorts. <laughs> I actually like I actually like cargo shorts, but was I talking to you about why I like cargo shorts? <laughs> and we were talking about how pockets equal gender. Oh! What change, God? Auto adorable moving shield at the start of battle. Oh. Okay. Why not? Why not? Man, talking to the change god was fucked up. A, a little bit. I like how like the change god was like, oh woo, <laughs> like super <laughs> cute. I kept <laughs> using all these like emotes and or emo or And you then know, like emoticons. talks to you and is like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I am the change god. Why are you fucking everything up? Yeah. I am enjoying myself immensely. Run away! I like your counter attack. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? No. No. I'm not brushing my teeth. I brushed my teeth before I started the stream. I am fidgeting. I should stop fidgeting. I'll be right back. Okay. Barbara grudging respect for that pun. You should have only nothing but respect for that pun.
gotta put the boob mouse pad under my, my keyboard so that I can make sure they're, my, my frail little wrist isn't compromised in the playing in my stars in time. Thank you, Duncan. Oh, uh, wait, why did Odal die? It's okay, you'll bring her what back. Did, when did that happen? I don't know. You've just been, like, zoom, zoned out the whole time. Oh, fuck, I, I did the zone out, but for real. <laughs> I mean, probably. I was thinking, like, if you wanted to go back and, like, do that one level where you basically go to that... You go the wrong way so that you can get the password to the other door. Uh, I was figuring you would do, like, a waste loop. Like, if this isn't the final loop, if this isn't the final loop, then I suggest doing, like, a waste loop where you, like, just yeah. zoom to that place, do the thing, and then, yeah. like, die. Okay, I'll, I'll do that if this isn't the final loop. Yeah. Potato says this is not the final loop. God fucking damn it. Don't tell us that! <laughs> Today's the final loop, man. Today's the final loop. We'll do it. We're doing it this time, okay? The final loop down. Are we going to be playing this game forever? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mirabelle. It's fine. <laughs> My bad. This is not not the final loop, said Potato. <laughs> Thought so. Potato. Yeah, potato. Yeah, potato. Yeah, potato. Coming, you're backseating us, spoiling everything. Spoiler alert. God. You're you're lucky that we're you're not immediately down. I know. <laughs> Cause like Scotty could ban you. Mm -hmm. He He's got the power! <laughs> 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 yeah, all I had to do is point, uh, and then I'll, I'll be I point at Potato, and then I'll go, Scotty, kill. <laughs> Scotty's like, yes, <laughs> yes, gender neutral mammer, sir. Yeah. Mix. <laughs> yeah, but like mix doesn't sound right. We need another word. Mer. What do you mean? No, like mix is like mix, like Mr. Don't or say, Miss. No, no, no. no. Mer is not. Do not. I was like thinking ma'am or sir would be, yeah, dude girl. But like, dude is disrespectful, so it has to be like, like, I need a ma'am or sir for like gender neutral. <laughs> because that's the thing, like, I would be, I would be doing work and like automatically I just like, because I'm being respectful, I have to say ma'am or sir. And then I'd like find myself like, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. You know, that is a very tall crown. Very king like. Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, but like, I also, on the phone with somebody, like, customer service representative, I'll be like, thank you so much for your time, my liege. It's just kind of a little bit like... <laughs> I think that's a little too much. Like, mammer, sir, is like... Something you say to, like... You're dumb, right? So <laughs> like maybe I should just start calling people mommy. <laughs> oh God, Melanie. None of those none of this is right. <laughs> I'm only half paying attention. I already feel the vibe is so, incorrect. So I was telling uh husbando on the walk that Autumn was apologizing for not being able to be here. And I was like, yeah, because their earbuds are gone. And then um or their earbuds need to be charged and Shin was like, you know what you should do is, uh, they, you know, they should just play it, play it for everybody at the thing. And I was like, we're a little too raunchy on stream. <laughs> to serve. Please come into the sitting room, mommy. God. I used to use sir for one of my friends. I wish I could do that, dude. 
fully exciting gender titles. I, I need to work on that. Mammy. Mammy. <laughs> 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 my king. The word daddy is so sexualized. My kid's gonna call me bro or some shit. So here's the thing. Like, my kid started calling my husband by his name because he hears me yell it. So like... <laughs> <laughs> Which... I'm so I so laugh about what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel weird calling him daddy because it it Duncan's right. I mean it is pretty sexualized, you know, like I'll be like, yeah, go get your daddy or go get your dad, but like I can't be like, hey daddy, will you help me with this? It's just like I feel like there needs to be like a door shut between me and my kid when I call my <laughs> husband daddy. <laughs> <laughs> my um my family we all use like different like names like that yeah <laughs> like i i was baby you know daddy was daddy mm -hmm. or d my mom would call him d mm -hmm. so like she'll call, call across the house and be like d <laughs> <laughs> Is this one bleeding? It looks like it's crying. Like the ball is the head, right? And then it looks like it's got like a sailor cost caught like a sailor seifuku or whatever. Yeah, but the seifuku has eyes on it and it's crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I actually we have to stop doing stuff like that in front of the kid and talking like we were talking about fucking how much Sibians cost while we were walking the kid the other day. Like, actually, this morning we were talking about them because we were just wondering, like, because I thought there were novelty things that, like, people don't have unless you, like, have a sex dungeon or something and really... Pay yeah, Sibian. Um, it's a really... I'm spelling it right. <laughs> it's S-Y-B-I-A-N. But anyway, it's one of those things that, like, in my opinion, it's only something that, that like, someone who has, like, a lot of money would have. Um, you could probably, like, DIY it, but... <laughs> but anyway, so he looked up the price and, you know, we were talking about that on our walk and, like, we're talking about it in front of the kid. And, like, he'll sometimes say things that I'm like, there's no way I've ever said that in front of you. Where did you learn that word? <laughs> so you gotta be careful. <laughs> Yeah. A mechanical bull. More or less, I guess. <laughs> um. It doesn't really do that much crazy gyrations. Just a lot of really small ones. <laughs> like, you basically sit on it. Yeah. And, and It's not trying to throw you off. It's just... It makes you feel really good. It does not spin it's and it. toss. Yeah. Um, but there are attachments, I'm sure. Why the fuck does that thing have a classy name? <laughs> what? A si Don't tell me that you you are just now learning what a Sibian is. I can't be teaching you guys this stuff. <laughs> like, I thought everyone knew what one was. Do you know what a Hitachi is? Yeah, do you know what a Hitachi is? Yeah. I've known what that is since high school. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan, no, Duncan, I don't fucking believe you. I don't believe no, you. No, he is. He is. Trust me, he is. I promise. He's di he's different. He's different. <laughs> he's done a lot of research to get this far. <laughs> I met you reading your porn. Yeah! But it was classy, so, so I was like, it's not porn! <laughs> Potato! <laughs> and you were like, I wonder why this is called a magic wand. Potato! Don't 
tell me you haven't used that for reference anyway. <laughs> We've, I've seen your art. You I've seen your art. Server. <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 no. Potato's just a little guy. No, that's right. We're not telling you the potato's an innocent little bean thing again. But he has a little bean it. sprout. No. He has a little bean no. sprout. No, no. Do not be, do not be deceived by the cute bean He's sprout. just a little guy. He's not a little, he's not a little guy. He's actually a huge guy. <laughs> what, because he's like six, six feet tall? Yeah, he's six foot three, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't, Scotty. Six two. Two. Oh, okay. Well, everybody's like, everybody's big compared to us, Hera. <laughs> For real. <laughs> You're at least taller than me. I'm like 5'1", five 5'2". Five yeah, but by a few inches. Are you like what? five feet tall? I am five feet tall! <laughs> the <laughs> thing is... One time I yeah. told Say that I was five feet, five feet tall, and I was like, Oh my god, we're like near the same height! And she was like, how, how tall are you? I was like, I'm five feet. She's like, we are nowhere alike. And then I'm learning from everyone that she's like five foot one or something. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were gonna say she's like 4'11 or something. No! She she refuses. She she thinks that is too short. Like I think um Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist is 4'11. Hey Scotty, she, E is she... E is for everyone. That's that's what the E rating stands for. Yeah. Dude, I've like this is this this dungeon has been like muscle memory at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you know where the fuck you're going. <laughs> muscle memory as you walk into a sadness. <laughs> it's like muscle memory. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten so much knitting done. <laughs> While playing this game? Yeah, because or watching we've been, game. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Let's see what weird thing Sephirin does this time. Passing through, you take a deep breath and quickly poke a dial side. Beyond throwing you a look, she doesn't react. You try not to smile. Hmm. <laughs> I guess next time you'll do Isabeau. You have grab to, his we butt. Have to do this again next <laughs> you time. grab his butt. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for such a long time. <laughs> I mean, sorry. <laughs> Scotty, it sounds like you work in a prison. Yeah, right? But like, can you listen to something that you've already got downloaded that doesn't use bandwidth? Like, if you have like CDs or something? Because I think once I've downloaded a book from the library, I can just like listen to it. Got it. But like, when you say meaties, I'm thinking those are like files from the 90s. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so my kid does not want to listen to anything other than Balance and Ruin. 
Yay! Which is, they make the boops and the beeps and the creeps. Basically, he won't let me even put on other orchestral Final Fantasy VI music or, <laughs> like, uh, what's the... Um, what's the the other stuff like distant worlds or yeah um the lo-fi shit he won't he won't let me listen to it it has to be balance and ruin which is great and then he like he'll be listening to a song and he's like the belt and then before the next song comes he goes it's the phantom train <laughs> and he goes all aboard <laughs> it's very cute it's very cute <laughs> Is Stone Drum the, um, the Doma Castle one? I think I call that one Uncle Cayenne's theme. <laughs> I wanted to call Cayenne his uncle. <laughs> My god, no. He knows that Edgar's other daddy. <laughs> Nani, I have something to ask you. I've been meaning to ask you. Okay, me. ask me. I think... Do you like Final Fantasy VI? A normal amount. A normal amount? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I thought maybe... Because I've heard of these characters before. Yeah? And I was I was wondering if you were referring to, to that guy from Final Fantasy VI. Which one? Um, the... <laughs> Fuck, which one is it? What's his name? Uh... Is he, like, the guy that, like, does the machines and shit? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. I like him a normal amount. He's pretty cool. Yeah, um, pretty all right. Yeah, like my favorite he, character. He's a twin. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite oh my character God, I to. Forgot about that. Like favorite character to play with is uh, fucking Locke, because he can steal shit, and then you can like steal things, and you don't have to spend money. <clears throat> yeah, Locke is the best. Okay. Yeah, Locke's pretty great. I'm pretty sure I will never grow out of him, ever. No. But like, if it's no. fuck, marry, kill... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Scotty. <laughs> Did you get your CDs from that, like, spend one penny and get a hundred CDs? And then you're, like, <laughs> fucked into a subscription of, like, a million? Like, which of these things does not belong? <laughs> you haven't bought a CD since ninth grade? Wow. I can't say the same. I've I've purchased Brandy Carlisle albums, so. And no regrets. That fucking filter keys keeps coming on because I'm holding down shift. Where's your jumbo wumba? Midi's from the Windows 1983. Five through ninety-one. Oh my god, those sounds are making me really uh, homesick. <laughs> Did you guys play Organ Trail <laughs> uh, in the computer lab and Number Crunchers? <laughs> I think not. Not I have not played either of those. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know of Organ Trail. I've only heard of. Like, I know how it plays and stuff. I haven't personally played it, but I haven't played Number Crunchers. I just hear Germa talk about it. Word, word, <laughs> word munchers, I think, or word crunchers, number crunchers. I don't remember. I think it's number munchers. Yeah, it was so cool. <sighs> tap touche, which was learning how to tap on the keyboard. Touch the remote. Oh no, Husbando is playing a game, but he's doing it on his computer and streaming it onto the comp onto the TV in the living room. <laughs> yeah, you had to do really good in number munchers to get the reward. So while everyone was playing Organ Trail, I was playing the one like. I think I was playing like Carmen San Diego because there was only like one of them and no one else was interested in it. And I yeah. was really, I really loved that game. Or it was like some like mystery game and I was really into it. Was it a, a lady? You know, I don't know. Yeah, but I don't, 
I don't know if it was Carmen San Diego or if it was like another one of those like it was puzzle games. Yeah, it was some kind of a puzzle game that required like lots of reading. <clears throat> but I was a very fast reader when I was a kid, so See what. All right, I'm gonna Google classic. Classic educational games on floppy disk. According to BuzzFeed, Oregon Trail, the Carmen San Diego series, Number Munchers and Word Munchers, <laughs> Math Blaster, we didn't have that, Scooter's Magic Castle, never had that, Putt Butt Travels Through Time, Magic School Bus, didn't have those, Incredible Machine, Logical Journey of the Zumbinis, Mission Thing. <gasps> Zumbinis! I played that! I've never heard of that. Mission T-H-I-N-K. Mario teaches typing. Lemmings. Now I played the fuck out of some lemmings. We did that on Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> I've actually played the lemmings on Genesis. You... Oh, really? Yeah. My friend played it on Nintendo. You know, Scotty, you're right, because now you're now that you're saying that, I remember that part of the game, so I must have been playing Carmen Sandiego. Mm. Which I loved. Have you played Mario is What'd Missing? You... No, I haven't. Well, oh, yeah, I put it in the sink because I was rinsing it. Did Tama get to it? <clears throat> A playground game. I had a really vivid dream of Zephyrin trying the pineapples. Oh, really? It was scary. It's purring. <laughs> the king, he's, he's purring. He's actually just chilling right now. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. Can you play Number Bunchers? Right yes. now? Yes, yeah, it's online for free. They'll run in your nice. web browser. I'm not sure you can play Oregon Trail for Yeah, me. there's Oregon Trail. Let's see. The Oregon Trail. Dino Park Tycoon. That looks like Mother 3. What, Dino Park? Yeah, I've never heard of it, but it looks like Mother 3. <laughs> I thought... I feel like I've played that before. I've never heard of it. Lemonade Stand. Lemonade Stand! Okay, I've never heard that. of that. Number Munchers, which I'm gonna play, and Word Munchers, because I love those games. The Secret Island of Dr. Quandary. I was hoping they'd have the Carmen San Diego game, because I loved it. <clears throat> Potato says, if you don't mind looping back, you should use the star crest on the tiers that are on the top rightmost part. The playroom. I'll do that after. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Because we're going to do a waste loop. Yeah, afterwards. Hey, can you put the vacuum back on the thing? Thank you. No. Sorry, I just noticed it was in the middle of the room. Thank you. Um. So, like, one of the things that Husbando has told me is that he doesn't want to, like, clean 
while I'm streaming because he doesn't want to like disturb the stream. And I'm like, literally, we know when you make popcorn. <laughs> Every it's time. It's, just, it's a very exciting time, actually. Just clean the fucking kitchen. <laughs> yeah, we're just like, oh, fuck yeah, it's popcorn time, baby! That, it <laughs> smells so good in here, you guys. I mean, he, he shares with the dog and the cats right now, so they're all like, like he throws a bunch in the middle of the room and then he goes and like hides in his office. Oh my god. <laughs> a colon slash slash games asteroid.exe. <laughs> oh, sorry, Duncan. He never shares with you because you are several states away. <laughs> it's a good thing you don't have smell of vision. Yeah, because I'm farting all the time. Are you really farting all the time, Aira? No. Okay, because, like, <laughs> that's really gross. Like, because of. <laughs> there were never burps. Yeah, I was always coming from my ass. Because of um, Bluey. We call them fluffies in our house. <laughs> and so today, like, Pika made a fluffy in the bathtub. And it was very loud. And I was like, you made a fluffy. Do you need to poop? And he's like, no. And then, like, as I'm putting his diaper on, he makes another fluffy. And I'm like, I swear to fucking Christ, if you're shitting while I'm literally putting a diaper on your ass. <laughs> I will murder you with my hands. I mean, I won't really. <laughs> but like, I actually peeled the diaper down to see if he had pooped. It was like, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but like, Because he might have pooped. No, he just farted. Yeah, I know. It was just like, why, would you, might have. why would you do that? Anyway. I, I voluntarily became a mother, so, like, I kind of asked for this, but also, <laughs> why? You have, like, double the hit points of everybody else. I guess you're double their level, too. Yeah. Remember, was Sif the same level as everyone else or lower initially? I think he's, he was around the same. Like, on average, probably about the same. But mm -hmm. if it was lower, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> bathroom, bathroom time. You don't really need to go. Just sit on the throne and think about nothing. You hear voices outside the bathroom. Listen in or stay here to make time go faster. Listen in. Will it be different? Maybe. Stand next to the bathroom door and listen. You're a smack. And another smack. And multiple snack mess smacks, like two people slapping each other repeatedly. Then Stop, stop, stop! I yield, I yield! <laughs> How can such a small hand do that much damage? I don't have small hands. Shut up! Oh my god, I 
Please, hit him more. Sure do, look. Why is your hand so big? Adult privileges. And also, I crafted my body to have big hands. But hey, Bon Bon, how are you doing? Doing okay? Want a snack? Want a hug? If I want a snack, I'll eat one. If I want a hug, I'll get one. From Belle and not you. Good. And how are you doing? I... I want to ride on your shoulders. <laughs> okay. Oh, I want to ride on your shoulders. I'm so tall now. You are. I can touch the top of the wall if I wanted. Do it. Crab, yeah. <laughs> this is such a, like, Sabin moment. You God guys. damn it, Billy! <laughs> you think everyone oh. will be fine if we beat the king? I love that he's being so cute to the and king. Bonnie's like, and scary. Bonnie's like, Gao slash realm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Even my sister? Yep. Even Belle? For sure. Even Dial? Absolutely. Even Bryn? Without a doubt. And you too? Of course. You promise? I super duper promise. Hmm. Pat, pat. Huh? Huh? What? Oh, I was trying to pat your head. Where's your head? Is that your head? Not here. That's my chin. Is it here? No, that's my ears. It has to be here. I'm dying. No, that's my nose. <laughs> Look, my head is here. There we go. Pat, pat, pat. I'm gonna cry. I, my heart is melting. Zabo, you're so good. Now get me down. You're too tall. It's weird. Maybe you're just too small, Bon Bon. Maybe, but one day I'll be taller than you. And you'll be the one getting right on my shoulders. I would love nothing more, Bon Bon. You exit the bathroom. <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, <sighs> do I like ah! him too? Not again! Do I like him too? Hey, Shujan! Or should I say yeah. Gandalf? <laughs> yeah. What is it, Gandalf the Grey or Gandalf the White? A wizard is never late, neither is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. That was incredibly cute. Yeah. Because of the chronomancy. Probably. I want to draw. <laughs> I'm looking at all these cute characters making the cute expressions. Scotty, are you talking about the time wizards again? Bye! What? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, I forgot. I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you, Aira. Um, funny thing. Funny thing happened today. We're like walking. And Husbando, we were talking about like different cars that we could get. And um, he was like, we could get a K truck. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, what brand is K truck? And I'm like, I mean, K is like a classification. <laughs> he's like, what? And I was like, yeah, it, it's like K means economy. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Go to the, go to the, um, go back to the, the change god statue. Should we do that again? Yes. I don't want to do that it's again. It's going to happen differently, though, this time, won't it? Potentially. <laughs> but, like, a K car is, like, a teeny tiny car, right? And then they have, like, K, like, K trucks are these, like, You'll sometimes see, like, little transport trucks here in the States that look like the ones that you use in Japan. Yeah, 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 K-E-I. But we all know that K really stands for Kevin. Visual K? Yeah, Visual Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> 
And your K, your K, uh, his real name means kindness. Oh, I can hear the jet planes fly flying overhead. Oh, I well, guess you can't do it again. All right. I mean, that was one of the more disturbing parts of the game, if we're being totally yeah. honest. We're just kind of yeah. like, what's happening here? Why is the music Ready? a little wonky? Like, I have seen it all. <laughs> <laughs> Eris Pant's name is Cabbage, no. Yeah? You think he's Cabbage? No, his name is Potassium. Oh, bye, Cabbages! That's why they call him K. No, it's like the... His Kellogg's. His name is Kellogg. We do buy special K a lot. <laughs> K for King. King Kevin Cabbage. That's better than KKK, so... Yeah. The K for potassium joke, yeah. Yeah, we we actually there's actually um we actually made a really weird obscure joke with that before. Uh huh. When we were younger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because his uh one of his like uh usernames yeah. was Pocato. <laughs> oh, like pocket. <laughs> like no no like potato, but instead of potato, it's uh -huh. Pocato. And then, um, I was like, you know, potatoes have potassium in them. Yeah. <laughs> Not as like, much as a banana, but... Uh, probably more than a banana, actually, because most of the potassium is in the skin. Okay. Well, the reason why I say that is because, um, with Air dating a banana, Air is doing a lot more than just dating a banana. But anyway, um... I think I'm eating it. <laughs> but, oh, I'm not. I can't do it. I'm sorry, Ira. <laughs> I can't do that to you. <laughs> I can't do that what to you. What do you mean? <laughs> we talked about Hitachis and Sibians and now we draw the line? I can't say... <laughs> I just can't do it. I'm sorry. Sibian. <laughs> <laughs> That would just be like so inappropriate to, to say on stream, so I just can't make myself do it. <laughs> You're so stupid. My eyes should be brown, but they're not. Craft buff. That's new. <laughs> I have gotten stronger. Memory of not over yet. You always remember this. When it comes, your fighter loyalty is not over yet as a skill, even if he is not level 54. Not over yet as a skill that lowers all of the family members' craft skill cooldown by four. Hell yeah. Yes, we won. Let's. Come on, everyone. Let's keep going. What about the one that. What's her face got? Ooh. Time to get traumatized. <laughs> I was asking you about tattoos. <laughs> and I think you're the one that volunteered the piercings. Oh, but, but then again, you did share the video. <laughs> I was like, what am I looking at? <laughs> You made a bomb. No, don't give the bomb to Bonnie. We can check the footage later. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? I might have brought it up. I don't remember shit for shit. And I can blame Mom Brain. Yes. That's his last new skill.
Ugh. Because you forced them to. Oh, I guess this is still really fucking us up. Because you forced them to. Okay. <laughs> Do you have the knife key equipped? No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, now we're good. <laughs> uh, it was like... It was like you had the best day, it was so lovely. Yeah. Like, this is the perfect, like, this is the perfect run. This is exactly what it needs to be. Like, it's real. You are loved because you force them to. Yeah. Because you force them to. Because, because you, you force them to! Because you're the literal worst. I'm so awful. <laughs> Isn't it funny that I'm like shitting on myself? I'm just so terrible. Puppet Master Sith. <laughs> it's funny. So Kay um, actually does tarot readings. Uh huh. And uh, I asked him if he knew what the Six of Pentacles was. Yeah. And he's like, I know what pentacles are and like what they might represent, but I don't know. Like you have to see the art first, yes. right? Yes. And and uh, I had described to him what the, the game described to us as the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. And he was able to get so close to the inverted, the meaning of the inverted Six of Pentacles. Oh wow. He's really good at tarot. I used to do tarot a lot more. Like, he did one on, on stage stream and uh -huh. read uh, her friends and her uh, readings. Uh -huh. And they were like freaked out by how, how like scary close he was to like their stuff. <laughs> it's, it's hard to do when you're not like in person with the other person though, because yeah. they have to like touch the card to like help you. Yeah. You know? They, they influence the way that the cards are drawn. Yeah. There we go. Let's Ooh. stop fighting. This feels important. But you'd still like to talk to the head house maiden during this loop while you're close to your family members. Is there another thing that happens while we're still close to our, to our allies? I don't know. Because this is the second time it asks us this. Mm -hmm. Is there another scenario that will happen when we're close to, close to them and we see their house, head housemate in again? I don't know. You can do it later if you want. Okay. Yes? Yeah. Open your mouth. Sifrin? What are you? You don't need to fight anymore, do you? You understand what the king wants. How he feels. Only you can make him understand. We don't have to fight. We are looking for the same thing. I know. I understand why you're doing this. But this isn't the way to do it. We can protect this country another way. You don't need to freeze it forever. Do you really want it all to end? Let's just stop fighting. Leave this country be. I need to keep holding on to it. Let's just let it go. You have to let it go, King. Boy. Perhaps you are right, Bright One. Huh? What? Let us stop this battle. Let us talk to one another. As people from the same country. The king has stopped fighting you. Lower your dagger. Sifrin? Is... Is this it? You're gonna stop just like that? Bonnie face. You destroyed my home. Froze my sister. 
throws all of Bogart in time. And you'll just stop? Just like that? Whoa, whoa. I will. I have fought for long enough. And I'm starting to realize that even if I did win, my victory would be short-lived. Because you'd be frozen in time yourself, maybe? Stupid. Perhaps. But if someone from my own country is the one asking, then shouldn't I listen? Whoa, whoa. After all, only a fellow compatriot would understand my pain. You said you and Sifrin are from the same country. We... We don't know where friends from, so what happened? The king cries out. No. But that's the problem, isn't it? That's what we'd like to know as well, isn't it? If I mention it, you might be able to remember it for a brief second. The fate of the island north of Vogard. An island north of Vogard? Is it perhaps... The one we can't say the name of. The one no one can remember anything about. The very one. That's where you're both from? So then, what happened? The king sobs. I suppose your story might be similar to mine, bright one. One day, I just woke up on a beach on a coast north of Voga. I woke up slowly, as people sometimes do. Expecting to remember where I was, what I was supposed to be doing. But nothing came to mind. And as I realized nothing came to mind, I also realized I could not remember a single thing. What was I was doing here on this beach? What chores I had to do on that day? How I got here? Why I didn't recognize my surroundings, my past, my family, my name. The language I spoke, the alphabet I wrote with, the stars, the country's inhabitants, culture, beliefs, its very name. I could not remember anything, because all my memories, even everything slightly connected to the country I came from, just could not be accessed easily anymore. And it makes sense, doesn't it? No one on this planet can remember our home as it was. Most people from outside it who had limited ties to it, only forgot the country's existence. Maybe forgot a friend from there, or a distant family member. For someone who had ties to it, who was born there, lived in it, breathed it day and night, there would be nothing to remember. There would just be emptiness. I was cut off from my very existence, my entire past, my entire identity. Erased. Memories make up the core of who we are, don't they? They're proof that we existed. That we are real. Can you be certain of anything if you do not remember how you learned it? And if you do not remember your past? If you only know it has been erased from your memory because something happened to your home? And if something happened but no one remembers what or why, then... What's stopping it from happening again? What if we forget it all? What if we lose it all once more? The king sobs. And you said you had to make sure it wouldn't happen again. At any cost necessary. And if the universe led you on this path, then it must be what the universe wants. The universe leads. We can only follow. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh. Even if you don't agree with my methods, Bright One, I can tell you understand. No matter what, I could not let this happen again. I could not. Not to Vogar. Not to Vogardians who housed me, cared for me, loved me. I do not want to forget it all. Not again. I will keep the things I love close to me. I will make sure they can keep existing so that they can be remembered forever. Nira's crying. I know. 
She's so that pure. Was what I, I know. That was what I thought. This whole time. This whole time. But uh, I could see that I was mistaken. The right, right one. I could find another way to protect the people we love. So, please, while I still can, let me change my mind. Let me help you. Change. Maribel. Madame, if he truly means it, shouldn't we try? Or are we deciding he cannot change? I can't believe that. I want to believe that even the worst person can change. Hmm. A dial. Please. We have to try. I'm with Mir and Sith. Fine. Okay. I'll follow you, friend, but I don't know. I I trust you all. I can't I can't do anything anyway. You breathe out. If you can end this loop without fighting. If you and the king can come to an understanding. Ooh, then right one. Sifrin, won't you stand next to me? Huh? I can bring everyone back. Make sure they'll all move again. We can save this country together. But I cannot break the curse on my own. Creating the curse was easy, but unraveling it asks for more power than I possess. But with the help of someone else, Someone who truly wishes for the curse to be lifted. Is that how it works? It does, if someone wants it enough. Sifrin, should I do it? Do it. Do you think my Go do to it? the king's side. King's yep. Side. That's all he. If that's all. If that's all that's needed for the curse to break, if for the curse to break is your help. You're the one who made the king change his mind. The least you can do is help. I'm scared. What if he doesn't want it enough? I don't know. <laughs> oh, bright one. Uh, uh oh. That bright, after all. You're strong, though. <laughs> Ah! No, 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 why? The king froze your bodies in time. You can think and move your head still so it's not over, but you can't move. No, no. King, you... I, I can't move. Why can't I move? Right one, Sephirin. Is this really all I needed to do to make you trust me? I just needed to listen to her empty words to tell you how sad I am, to make you think I was pathetic, to be pitied. You should have told me sooner. Killing you like this is easier than fighting. Huh? What? No! Everyone! What was it you wanted me to do? Let go of my goal. Let go of my wish. Let go of the wish that kept me going all those years. I will never let it go. Vogard, our country. I will make sure they are kept perfect forever. Because, oh, I can tell, Sifrin, this isn't how it should be. Huh. I saw it all, you know. I saw the signs. The way you came in to face me. Like you knew exactly what you were about to fight. The way your companions all flinched, hearing my voice, but not you. The way you knew about my home. The way you can keep it at the forefront of your mind. Like you've practiced as I have. Yes. Oh, oh I can tell. I can tell, Sifrin. I should have won. 
I should have won long ago. But something went wrong, didn't it? Victory keeps escaping my grasp. Sifrin. It's you, isn't it? The one who's keeping me from winning. How many times have you kept me from victory, Sifrin? <laughs> you can't breathe. What is he talking about? What? <laughs> I can tell. I can feel it. This scent. This overpowering sweet scent. I can taste the power of wishcraft on you. Huh? Wishcraft? I can tell, Sifrin. It's you. You're the one keeping me from total victory. You're the one keeping me from my perfect ending. If only, if only you weren't here. Ah, oh. a quick death would be too easy for you. You just come back anyway, won't you? So, I just need to make sure that today, you learn your lesson. Oh, yes. Ah! <gasps> no. No. No, 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 The king grabbed onto Bonnie. Bonnie! No! Curse you, king. Let them go. Right one, Sir Look at me. You need to learn not to cross me again. I will kill this child, and your housemaiden, and your fighter, and your researcher. I will kill them all, one after the other. I will kill them all now, and make you remember. Oh, Jesus. I will force you to watch, so you will learn. Brynn! Ah! The king is tightening his grip. Bonnie! No! Please, no! Come on, stupid body, move! Bonnie face! No, 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 Bon Bon! None of you can move! Your whole body hurts. You can't move, but you have to do something. Save Bonnie! You need to find a way to loop back somehow. You need to die. A, a tear, anything. Just loop back! Help me. I'm scared. Just let them go, please. Okay, remember when they died to the king the first time? I was like, man, I knew they're gonna make me watch my friends die. Now they're really making me watch my fucking friends die! Holy shit! Not Bonnie, please! Your stomach feels like it's caving in on itself. Curse you, king. Curse you and your whole country! Curse you and everything you stand for! You take sugar on your tongue. Bonnie! You have to loop back. Loop back, loop back, loop back, loop back, loop back, loop back, loop back. Friend. When you come back, bright one, remember this. Loop back. Friend. Okay, I have an idea. Aira, I have an idea. Can we, like, go back to, like, load an old save and, like, never have that happen? What do you mean? Like, just, like, restart the game, like this never happened, and load the more recent save. Melanie, I think we need that to- I think that's necessary- that's a necessary evil. Yeah. Uh, because okay. we need to know that the king is a fucking asshole! Okay, but I have a question. Earlier, yes. Scotty said tarot sucks. Have you heard about this other kind of deck? What's the other kind of deck? 
you know, Fortuna's deck. Oh, I'm okay. Sure that's okay. Okay. okay, got it. I'm, I'm just too immersed in the story to get... God. <sighs> All right, I just... No, 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 no. Sorry. I just had to unclench my butthole, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I had to keep them clenched for, for, for Sifrin. Yeah. You clench your chest and try to catch your breath and forget. It's fine. You loop back. It's fine. It's fine. They're fine. Bonnie's fine. Looping resets everything. Everything that just happened has been erased. Everything is back to normal. Bonnie is back to normal. Just go and see them. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. No wonder escapes you. No. You're okay. Bonnie is okay. Everyone is okay. They have to be okay. Just breathe. 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 Bonnie. Bonnie is... Okay. You're okay. <laughs> See? Because of the way loops work, they won't remember anything. They're not hurt. Everything is back to normal. There's no reason the loops would work differently this time. Just breathe, then stand up, and make sure you get back to the stage. Follow the script. You have to make sure Bonnie is okay. I am so freaked out that Bonnie's not going to be there right now, you guys. Sifrin, you're... Oh, change, you look... You look really, really tired. I thought you were taking a nap. D did you not sleep well? Not really. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. I was going to tell you something, but but forget about it. Go on and do whatever you need to today. Sure. Uh, do you know if Bonnie's okay? Bonnie? Why wouldn't they be? I saw them near the fields earlier to the east if you'd like to talk to them. You nod. Okay, I'll... I'll leave you alone. Make sure to rest up and we'll meet for dinner at the clock tower later, okay? You nod again. Papa takes over and you tell her about the carrot method. Oh, wait, how did you know about. And. Okay. I need to see if Bonnie is okay. Just like he's just like for me, for real, for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bonnie is here, alive and whole. Bon Bon! Huh? What did you... Bonnie... Uh, how are you? I'm... Okay? Good. <laughs> and... How are you? You look bummed out. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong at all. Okay. Well... Um... What do you want? Nothing. You have to go and see Loop. Every trauma, Jesus. So, whoa, what's wrong? I need to do the favor tree thing. Oh, do you need me to leave? Sure, but let's talk later, okay? Stop. Just say, I told you so, and we can move on. I told you so! <laughs> what a stupid idea you had. Thinking the king could be turned good. He's the king. That's probably the reason you're here, or related to it, at least. 
and all you had to do to find uh, was find out he shares your trash backstory for you to feel pity for him. He didn't have to lift a finger. And because of you, Bonnie was... Anyway, I told you so. But when he said back then, he mentioned something. But, but Loop also sacrificed your friends. You it know? wasn't like a cruel, slow, crushing death. No, I guess like, not. Like that's kind of like crushing, but, but also asphyxiation. But it was but it was an experiment. It was. They even I admitted mean, I, that it was an experiment. It was at least at that point. Hey check! Hi check. You just missed the trauma. <laughs> I mean, I would I wouldn't call it missing, but yeah. You you missed uh, the one of the apex of the traumas. <laughs> Do it again, okay? Uh. Something about something about wishcraft. He did. What is wishcraft? I I don't know. Wishcraft, crafting wishes. That sounds impossible and way too convenient. But he seemed to imply you were using it. That's what it felt like to me. I've never heard of wishcraft before. Me neither. I wouldn't even know where to find information about it. But that is new information. So, as stupid as the whole making friends with the king was, you did find something new. This isn't worth it. Every time you close your eyes, you still see a hand tightening. I'm also wondering, the way you looped last time, wasn't it? Whatever. It's not like your kid will remember whatever ha just happened yet anyway. Just put it behind you. And this whole thing gave you something else, didn't it? Another memory to equip. Uh, oh, you didn't even notice. You'll always remember this, after all. Let me do the usual. You got a memory of memories. When equipped, memory of memories allows you to read books you couldn't before. The ones are in that language that just gives you a headache. The ones from your country. <sighs> oh, how useful and neat to be able to read your own blinding language. You might as well read any books you find before you forget again. You do everything else. And if you can read that language, maybe you can explore the house a bit more. Don't despair, Stardust. There's still a path to follow. In the meantime, though, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Okay, we have some stuff to read, so hang on. Uh -huh. Potato said, now that we're in Act 4, two things I want you to do at some point is use the coin at the tree and do at least one loop where you act as, as suspicious as possible by getting all the items you already gotten and only speaking with Odile in the house. Oh, I got I got I got chores from a ch from from Potato here. Yeah. It's a loop game just trauma again. It's been a couple dozen loops. By now you either think no one dies and they're effectively invincible or you think everyone dies every time and how are you not just jaded by now? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. So is this gonna be our waste loop where we like Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna use this as the waste loop. I just need a moment. Yeah. Oh my god. Are you okay? It's just I oh I mean that was heavy as fuck. Yeah, I didn't like that. No. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. No. This is like almost mm. as bad as that dating sim we did. I mean, yeah, the dates have hit different. What's, what's a solipsism? Solipsism. What's that? Uh, I forgot. Some kind of. I think uh, it's like a theater term. I I've heard that word before. So I'm doing a Google. Solipsism. So solipsism. It is the quality of being very self-centered or selfish. In philosophy, it is the view uh, or theory that the self can be known is all that can be known to exist. 
Oh, of course, it's a so fucking it's... philosophy thing. Fucking and philosophy idealist major. thesis, because only my mind exists entails only minds exist. This is just the main character syndrome. Yeah, only Sip is real. <laughs> I don't want to do the main character syndrome. I think, therefore, I am not sure about you, though. <laughs> Let's talk about something. Sure, what do you want to talk about? My turn, actually, my turn. I have a question. It's that not a weird from. king device. Fuck you, Duncan. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it my next... Never mind. <laughs> my next invention. <laughs> How's your touch exposure, exposure therapy going? Your what? In the garden room. You've been practicing to touch your party in that annoyingly cramped room, right? How does Lube know about this? It's going well. I'm so happy for you. Touching people is so weird, right? At least you have all the time in the world to get used to it. Especially since they don't remember what you did that if you loop, right? It was all the yucky, yucky, ew vulnerability of it all. Uh, I don't like that they had to put it like that. <laughs> Alright, well. Let's go kill ourselves a lot. Huh. The sense of the banana peel makes you want to throw up. Wait, why are you going to do that now? What do you mean? Oh, I see. If I do the key thing, then it might... Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> he fell and broke his neck again. Hilarious! What are you equipped with? Uh, I got my knife. I got the family one. Should I do the memories? Well, I guess wait until you get to a place where the things hurt your eyes and then... Wait, you smiled in that. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't usually smile, I don't think. You yeah, usually no. that it's one smiles every time. Yeah, but this was a different kind of smile. Was it? Yeah. I think usually the smile is like the eyes are open. Oh! You're right, it is different. Yeah. It's, it looks like a really forced smile. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'm pretty sure the key is in here. We got this, Melanie. Yeah. Okay, we're, 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 we're good at fighting. We can do this.
Oh wow, I remember the levels there. Yeah. I got a star crest. And then use it over here, right? I think so, yeah. Whoa! Wrong way, Stardust! There's a bunch of unfinished poems in the desk. That suppose slaps his hand on one of them. Mira! Yes, yes, I'm reading. Oranges are nice. Oranges are soft. Oranges are frail. When you look at me, I feel like one. Your fingernail digs into my cheek. Peel an orange open. Is this a clue? No, it's just someone's unfinished poem. Let's finish it for them. Do we have time? Do we really have time to do this right now? Peel an orange open. Orange juice comes out. Oh, gems. Um, um. Peel an orange open. The person who wrote this is the orange, right? That seems to be one interpretation, yes. Okay, so. I die. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Very literal. <laughs> Very nice. Blood oranges. Something with that. Something bloody but poetic. I haven't heard a single good idea yet. Madame, do you have something then? No. Yeah, yeah. Leaving us young people to do the job. I get it. Sif, your turn. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like the top one. I think that's... It's a very Sif one. <laughs> yeah. It gets very appealing. Ha! Ah! Sifrin. And take a bow. No one except Isabeau claps. I think that's a win in my book. <laughs> okay, it was worth it just for your reaction. There's a, there's a note with the word open phrase 1, 2, 3 written on it. You look at it a little closer. Is that an open phrase for something? <laughs> Sounds very safe and not at all stupid. Hmm. <laughs> a note for a festival that was supposed to take place. I don't know what today's date is, so you're not sure when this festival is supposed to take place. I like that there's soul broths in here. Yep. Find an anthology of horror stories. On the cover, a handsome young man looks into the night, fearful but longingly. Ooh, Mira, looks like the kind of books you like, yeah? Horror books. This one looks massive. What's this one, Cat? That's the handsome young man falling into beautiful, heartbreaking madness horror anthology! Whoa! Mirabelle's yelling made you jump. Did... did someone in the house have it all this time? Did someone keep it from you? What is it, anyway? BL. It's a full anthology all about pure-hearted boys being subjected to awful monsters and horror situations. <sighs> Seeing them scream in fright. I cannot help but root for them and at the same time be happy I am not in their situation. There is something lovingly touching about those tales, something wonderfully hopeful. I cannot help but read them and pray for their survival. So, so do they usually survive? Or do monsters catch them? Well, 50-50? <laughs> but also, the catharsis that fills my whole being when they get caught. There's something very wonderful about that too. The schadenfreude. The schadenfreude! Cat fartsis. Skadenfruber. Don't worry about it, Bonbon. I too am also lost. 
it's just, it's very good. And it's illustrated by Junji Ito. It's very <laughs> moving. <laughs> Makes me feel like I went on a run. And also, sometimes the heroes end up bonding with the monsters, too. Scotty! Ooh, romance. I understand the romance part. I understand all those parts, actually. Any books you'd recommend? Absolutely. I'll lend you some of my favorites once we... Well, once we finally escape a horror tale of our own, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. All right, what do we have? Admin 111. Open. We're in the girls' way yeah. section. <laughs> Guys, stop leaking my password in the chat! <laughs> All right. Okay, which one is the door that's open for A's 1, 2, 3? Uh, I think it's the first uh, floor. Oh, second floor says potato. Oh, wait. Um. Okay. Why don't you read that out loud? Uh, I took a screenshot. Okay. Can I call you potato? <laughs> Actually, are you potato or potato? How do you pronounce it? We should probably like learn these things rather than just assuming. Fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. You. Potato, potato. What? Oh. Whoa! The sprite disappeared. I still keep counting Era Ara. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah! Arayada. Oh, Arayada. Era de show. Whichever we like best. Well. <laughs> Hot potato, hot potato. Oh, potato. speaking of Jinji Ito, did you know that my cousin got me a Jinji Ito coloring book for my birthday one time? As a joke? As a gift! It's fucked up. No, it's... Melanie, it's beautiful. Because, like, the, illu the Jinji Ito's illustrations are crazy good. Like, it wouldn't have the same impact it does without that technical skill, you know? And, like, the coloring book is, like, a really big book. So, like... <laughs> it's actually... Duncan! It. Wait, what happened? Oh, I, I touched it here. Why? Because I forgot I wanted to use the keys. Why didn't you just... What? Why? Why didn't you just go back to a save? Because I didn't save. Oh. <laughs> Duncan, I think you've made my night. <laughs> Scooty. <laughs> Remember that thing you were talking about when uh, you were talking about the, 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 the pet stuff, right? Which part? Are you talking about squeezing the butt? The when like the when you're that tech, you gave people like awful nicknames. I gave people often awful nicknames. Yeah, like you were um, mel mel melanoma or something. Oh yeah, okay. I thought you were talking about like because I also did um, fucking when I was dating i like gave people nicknames too so like when i was referring to them like especially on social media like this one guy i called him hot mess because he was a hot mess oh my god <laughs> he was in my phone as hot mess i went out with this guy whose name was will and i didn't want to ever see him again or talk to him again after the thing <laughs> was the open phrase open one two three that's so smart it's not let's just go in <laughs> Anyway, I changed his name to Won't. <laughs> you banned Mel, so all you're left with is Annie. Mare is fine. You could say Yoink. I think he'd say. Why did Bonnie. Why did, why did Odile do it? 
Because she wanted, she wanted to have fun. Hmm. Oh. Why did I take this? Oh, I cut myself. Ah, your finger. Did you cut yourself? Here, give me your hand. She gently takes her hand and wraps a bandage around your finger. So nice, even though she tries to pretend she's not. Next to her, Bonnie carefully takes the glass shard from you. And throws it across the room. Why do you have sharp things like this in your pocket anyway? I'm a klepto, okay? I'm trying to- What's that? Work Is that a person it. next to the change yeah, god? Uh-oh. Hey, Ferris, Ferret. Hi, want, Ferris. Want some, friend? You want to throw up just looking at them, but you force yourself to make a funny, disgusted face. <laughs> but you liked them when we first met, didn't you? I feel like one day you just did a 180 and decided you hated them. What happened? Did you eat a bad croissant somehow? Did it have a hair in it? Did someone beat you up using a croissant as a weapon? Or did someone eat your croissant? Was it Isabeau? No! I tried very hard not to eat Sip's food, so I wouldn't... <laughs> Try very hard. <laughs> <laughs> you don't answer. Oh, crap. Did I... No, just... Uh, it just brings back bad memories. Bad memories? Of what? You clench the silver coin in your pocket. You don't answer. Don't worry, friend. I'll make the best croissant ever, and you won't have to think about the bad memories anymore because this croissant will be too good. Oh, Oh, Bonnie, that's a lovely idea. Isn't Bonnie nice, Ciprin? You force yourself to smile and nod. You know, I wonder... If you liked croissants before, but because you've looped so many times, you get tired of them, which is why you want the chocolate one. But, but, Sifrin immediately hated them. Yeah, but, like, who knows how many loops he'd actually been on. Like, we could have just been, like, starting, I don't know. Maybe whatever the fuck is in his tummy hates croissants. Maybe. Hey. <sighs> As the adults say, I'm going to take this. <laughs> Someone frozen in time. Oh, I don't know them personally, but I've seen them around. They... I... I don't know anything about them. Mira, I'm trying so hard to remember something, anything about each person I see, but... There's so many people I know nothing about. They're not dead, you know. All we need to do is beat the king to break the curse, and you'll be able to get to know each of them as much as you want. Mm. Someone frozen in time. That's another student. We took a grape stomping class together a few years ago. Sorry, a what? A grape stomping class, so you can make wine, madame. Oh, the door was locked, wasn't it? They must have thought it would protect them from the king. But sadly, the king's curse doesn't care about locks. Maybe we should tell that to the person in the thing. What thing? Yeah, he never remembered looping until he learned memory of looping. Mm. I need to die, don't I? No, you need to find some... Okay. Are you going to start what? at the beginning? What do you mean? Don't you have to read some stuff? Yeah, I do. Uh, I'm going to start from the beginning, right? Okay. Actually, no. There might be something on this floor that I can read. Let's check. A little... Well, let's look at this. Okay, let's go to the left side. <laughs> Mm. 
Okay. Anyway, let's go to the left side. Yeah, the, 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 the secret library. The secret library be. The adults only stacks. We have to keep Bonnie outside. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fucking put on Graphium. Oh, it's this place again. While passing through, you take a deep breath and poke. Poke my cheek again and die. Yep, message received. You giggle under your breath. <laughs> now fucking run! Yeah, next oh. time you do that, you need to have all your memories. So that you can squeeze the butt. Yeah, I need to. I need to make sure that we're, we're good friends, good buddy pal friends, friends pals buddies. What the gems? The case is filled with old, moldy books. One of them is written in your language. You can read it now. Actually, you can't. It's a lot of hard words in here. I don't know what this is even about. Maybe you should go back to it later. God damn it! I know there's a there's okay. If we maybe we can loop back to the, the village. Yeah, the village. There's a library. Wait, wait, that wait. Has, Potato says uh, to go back. Read the colors one. The case is filled with books about something called colors. If you need any help you can get. You pick one at random. Color theory. What it means for us and our past. Looks boring and dense. Oh yes, color theory. Are you interested, Cifrin? You shrug. Hmm. What's a color? I'm gonna skip a little. I think you skipped something important. Well, would it prompt something? Because it was starting the exact same way than as before, right? Is there other books you can read? Like the little books? There's this one that will make a dial suspicious of mm -hmm. me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're going to loop back anyway. No, I don't want to read it, though. <sighs> it's, its function is to make a dial suspicious of me. <laughs> At least that's what I've interpreted it as. This triggers some things for the third floor if you wanted to keep going. Uh. I do want to keep going. Hey, what else do you want to do this loop before we start at the beginning? I mean, it's just go to the third floor, see what that thing is, and then head back to the village, right? That's okay. Any language, Scotty? Is that a universal? Studios, Florida. Hmm. Interesting.
You got to level 50 really quick. Yeah, because uh, I looped back to this floor, which recorded that they got to like level, like near level 50. Oh, okay. door we're looking for is on the left side on the so we go ro one room over to the left then we go up the corridor and take a right in the, the three-way rooms never mind not really? the storage the observatory I double checked that weird room with the long hallway. Like this one right here. a question. You answer it aloud. The door unlocks. Huh? What did you say, Sif? I couldn't hear it either. Did you say something? You open the door. Kore <sighs> nani? Yeah. It's... What is this? It has a lot of balls attached to it. And there's a lever here. If we turn it, it seems the balls will move around this big middle ball. Does it represent something? It looks familiar somehow. Yes, I feel I've seen something like this before. It's called an orrery. An orrery? It's a machine to calculate the position of astronomical objects. Astro what? Like stars and planets and stuff. Who would need to calculate this? Us as a species! <laughs> For once, Cyprin hasn't forgotten something, but we all have. Telescope. It's broken. Star charts. The drawer. You open it. There's a beautiful hat inside. It's very similar to yours. A starry hat. Mm. Heals 5% HP every turn. Fuck yeah. It's a journal it's a, with a star in its cover. Sorry, what? It's a star time wizard hat. God damn it. <laughs> I should never <laughs> let you speak. <laughs> Last time I polite to you. Looks very old. It's like I'd break apart in one touch. 
I want to read it so bad. Please, let's stop wasting time and reading every book we come across. But the book has a star on it. It must be important, right? We get closer to the book. Ugh, fine. Let's do it. Be careful handling it, though. Maribel carefully takes the book in her hands and flips through the pages. Hmm, it's a little long. Seems like it's the diary of a very sad person. Why sad? What happened to them? They don't actually say. It just feels like they lived through some hard times and everyone around them seems to brush their worries aside. Everyone is acting as if everything's fine when this person continues to suffer. Bummer. More like boring. Read a passage. Um, sure. Well, no one can understand what I've been through. Not my friends, not my family, no one. If no one can understand me, if I'm doomed to never be truly seen by another, if I'm the only one who can understand what I've gone through, then couldn't I just create another self? Another me? Someone I could talk to who could understand. Huh? Oh, interesting. Now we're getting somewhere. Talking to another self to come to terms with what they've gone through. But in the end, they'd still be alone, right? Sometimes you just need a voice that answers back, Bon Bon. Hmm. It would just be an echo chamber, though. You'd never get to any good conclusion talking to yourself endlessly. Melanie, is your mic, like, different? No. Okay. I suppose they felt so alone they saw no other recourse, though. But tell me, Mirabel, do they get a rude wake-up call as they realize creating another self is absolutely impossible? Yeah. Using crap to change a body is already hard enough. Creating a whole new one and identical to another and able to talk back? That's just impossible. Um, they spend a good chunk here trying to figure out how to do it. It's a lot of complicated theory. Their writing seems to be getting more frantic, too. It's barely legible in places. Of course. Realizing this can't be done. That's kind of sad. Oh. This page, it only has a few words, but... I figured it out. How to create another me. Body craft didn't work. Crafting clay didn't work. Nor wood, nor marble. Nothing worked. But one thing could. Wishcraft. Wishcraft will make my wish come true. I just have to do it. I just have to ask. Wishcraft! King mentioned wishcraft before, didn't he? He seemed to imply it was used to trap you this, in this time loop, didn't he? So what is real? It's real. It's real. You hide your smile by covering your mouth. Sifrin. Uh, and then, and then. Oh, and then. Mirabel turns the page. Oh, my wish came true. I will always be understood now. Huh. Happy for them, I suppose. So they did it. They created another them. With. Wishcraft? What's wishcraft? Surely a type of craft they invented for this tale. As we've said, it's impossible to create a copy of yourself. Interesting premise, though. And making this fictional tale look like an old diary was interesting. Too bad wishcraft isn't real, though. I'd wish for stuff, too. But it is real. It has to be. It has to be. You have to tell Loop about this. Pause for a second. Loop. What's your theory? Oh. My theory? Mm -hmm. I think, uh... I think Loop is the result of, of Sifrin's witchcraft. You think Loop is the result of Sifrin's witchcraft? I think yeah. the person... I think this is the king's room. I think... Okay, what if Loop is the king's witchcraft? No. No. What if... What if... 
I think Sifrin is the wish. No. I think Sifrin was created by the king. No. I disagree. I think Loop was created by the king. And Loop didn't really like the king. <laughs> Maybe Loop... Uh, that's why Loop understands the king better. But I don't really understand why Loop knows what's going on in Sifrin's head. Remember when the very beginning when we first met Loop we were trying to determine pronouns for each other mm -hmm. one of the things Loop said was you could just refer to me as the royal we and then Sifrin's like that doesn't make any sense and they're like oh okay well then you just use they or them <laughs> so is Loop okay so how about this when when the king created Sifrin Loop resulted what because yeah, but... loop, loop, and loop, and you are actually one. But you're how, a part. How is... of, like loop and Sifrin are. They're intertwined. There's there's a such thing as sad assholes. Like those things aren't like mutually exclusive. Yeah, there there are definitely sad assholes out there in the world. Yeah. Like incels. So like one of the things I was trying to think like if, if it was if they are the same but if, if Chick, shut up by the king. You're not an <laughs> asshole. Thank you. Thank Scotty yeah, Scotty Scotty Yelling. not not literal Yelling. ones. Jesus. <laughs> Use more lube. Use more info. Okay. Um yeah, but then how does everyone know about Sifrin? Like, how does Sif how do they have memories with Sifrin traveling all this time with this proof that things happened together? Because right? this they because the king created Sifrin some time ago, and Sifrin was gonna go against the king, lost memories of of who he is. Because he doesn't know. remember the original country, even though he comes from there, but he doesn't have memories of it because he's never, like, it doesn't exist anymore, but he's never actually been there because he was created by the king. By no, witchcraft. No. Remember? Remember that thing that Sifrin was talking about? Mm hmm. Wait. Wait, hang on a second. <laughs> okay, hang on. So. There was a there was a moment back then when they went to a secret passage and then went to that thing where they found a letter of someone who ran away from home. Sifrin was about to tell a story of how he ran away from home one time, but then something happened in his memory and he couldn't uh -huh. remember it anymore. So he, his story like dropped halfway through. Yeah. Right. That doesn't exactly not fall in line with what you're talking about. If it's him going against the king. I don't know. Uh, I think your theory is valid, but I am going to stick with my own. I don't want it to be right. <laughs> well, the books are sold. They'd probably disintegrate in a single touch. All right. I think we go to the observatory and then call it a night because it's almost 11. That's good. <sighs> Although the night is still young for you. <laughs> yeah. Because it's what? The past? It's what, almost yeah. nine o'clock? Yeah. Oh god. Is that the wrong god, one? I don't have the, oh. I don't have the crest. <laughs> Go get the crest. <laughs> Go get the crest. I missed miss the key, didn't I? Alright, while you are doing that, I'm gonna run to the restroom. Okay. Okay. Bear be. Pee pee poo poo pee 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 poo poo pee 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 poo poo pee 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 poo pee poo pee poo pee. There it is. Silly me, I forgot that key. And this will open up the thing that will let me fight the dude, so I can get the star crest, and then I can go to the observatory.
The artist described Isabeau's pants as Hakama. <laughs> Don't tell that to Melanie! What? I want Isabeau! I, I want him! I, I've decided that I'm in love with him too, so we're gonna have to share. We're gonna have to share Blorbos. It's fine. All right. Well, how do we determine who gets custody of him? We can just share him. Sometimes it's fine. Whoa! Where are we? Oh, even Scotty said he'll take care of him when we're on vacation. <laughs> Just so. The point is, is that everyone's supposed to fall in love with him. Ooh. There's a book and cobblon on the table. I'll look at a dial. A cobblon book here in Vogard. Oh, so it's talked about the colors, I think. Mm. What if uh, we did? I know this face, Sif, but what if we did? Dial sighs and picks up the book. Yes, I'm not the one reading this time. This book seems to go in detail about what could have caused colors to disappear. Something big must have happened, right? For everyone to not be able to see them anymore? And it was a very long time ago, so there's probably no records of why. There seem to be a lot of theories. A craft experiment gone horribly wrong. The side effect of a craft war. Whatever happened then, all colors disappeared from this world. But it seems impossible, right? It'd be like, like if everyone stopped seeing shades all of a sudden. I do wonder what could have made that happen, yes. Weird. You're still wondering about that weird shade you saw while talking to the king. Was that weird shade a color? Is there a way to see colors now? Funny you should mention it. People have been known to see a weird shade during, um... Times of immense trouble. They describe the shade as scary, dangerous, visceral, maybe. Historians think this weird shade should have, could have been a color. A visceral shade. Times of immense trouble. Father Mary what does that mean? Me. Sorry, it's a little tough to translate. Moments before something breaks, maybe? When something breaks. Like, during the end of something? Or something gets destroyed? Like the end of the world! Maybe so. If colors were an integral part of the world, then the world writes itself right before the end. How poetic. Someone should write a novel about this. Or make a game. An interactive game where you uh, loop over and over again. Uh, <laughs> color of disappear when something breaks, huh? The king tried so hard to see your country's name. Did something break then? I'm about to break everything you say to me. Cause I'm one step closer to the edge. And I'm about to break. I need a lot of room to breathe. I want to breathe. Oh. Can we look at the stars for a second? The stars? Why? Just for a little bit. Sure. We have time, don't we? What are all the things that are coming in and out that, like, we see not even in the sky? Like, mm -hmm. floating around the house in general in this game. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? I don't know. What if it's the, the like, embodiment of, like, the sugary scent? Mm. Higher flies. <laughs> you would not believe your eyes. Ten million fire eyes. Lit up the world as eyes eyes fell asleep. Yeah, right. It does they feel the like open eyes. Snow globe. Eyes, 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 eyes. You know, I read the three. I read the three body problem, but I don't remember anything about it because I think it was confusing. 
What's the three-body problem? It's a, a really fantastic science fiction book, but I had to read it very fast, and it was very long, and I only had like seven, <laughs> seven days to, to read it. So I read it very uh -huh. quickly, and I was, I think I was nursing or chasing a toddler. You could have stayed here forever. Oh, okay. What about that Thanks, book guys. to the right? The book to the right? This one. Yeah, have you already looked at those things? A pile of papers. Something is written on them. Looks like a child tried to write down their first word. Sure is some awful handwriting. And a determined child. Looks like they tried to write the same word on all those papers. A pile of papers. Looks like someone was trying to write down their country's name. Your country's name. Cannot read it still. I wonder if that's you. When you were first born. A world globe. We are here. Kabue is here. Hey, Babu. Here. Oh, excuse me. Lonnie points to a spot almost on the edge of Vogar. You look away from the globe. Alright, All right. well. Thanks, guys, for letting me watch the thing. Oh, bye. <laughs> Alright, Loop 38. Jesus H. Christ. You wake up. You jumped about stars, stars, stars. You want to cry. <sighs> Act four. I thought there was only three acts in this game. Ugh. All right. So, you good, Melanie? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Are you guys good? I'm good. We'll, uh... I have to pee. We'll come back here next week. And hopefully... I don't know how many more loops we're gonna do. <laughs> happy, I'm happy, I'm so happy, I'm happy, I'm so happy, I'm happy, I'm so happy. Bonnie's okay, that's the main thing, right? Bonnie's good. Bonnie's okay, Bonnie's, Bonnie's good. good. Bonnie's good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. Good night. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye.